So hey guys, welcome welcome back to our new video and today uh, in this video we're going to make our Jarvis to listen to us by using speaker recognition module. So as I have told you in my previous video or if you haven't watched the previous video go and check it out. The link is in the description box below. So now uh, in the previous video we have set up the IDE and we have created make the engine speakable uh, as a text to speech converter. So now today in this video we're going to make the Jarvis to listen our voice and we are going to write some code and make our Jarvis to perform uh, to listen our voice and perform tasks according to our voice. So this is going to be a uh, use interesting and this is the important step in building a virtual assistant. So let's get into the video. Okay, so to do that we are going to use a module called speaker recognition. So now I'm in my uh, AI folder and this is the code that we have done previously. Okay, so let me show you a sample by click on the run button. Hello world. My name is Jarvis. Okay, so now our Jarvis is basically like a text to speech converter. It will say all the text uh where or it will say all the text in this parameter okay so now we are going to make it uh, to hear our voice by using speak recognition open any browser and search for speak recognition python and click this link and then copy this link okay so now go on your PS studio code or any IDE you are using click on new terminal and then press Control V, so and then hit the enter button. Then it's going to download speaker recognition. I have already installed it, so it is showing me like requirement already satisfied. Now we're going to import it. It's right. Import speak speak recognition. So now when we want to use speaker recognition, then we can write like speaker recognition as we have done with PyTTSX3 over here. You can see we have written PyTTSX3 dot in it. So, uh, writing speaker recognition everywhere will be a difficult task. Like it will be a too much long, and our code will become too much only. So we are going to you. Uh, we are going to give a short name uh, for it. Suppose like Edge ESR. So now we can use the speaker recognition. Uh, by writing ESR okay so after that we're going to set up a listener so here we are like we'll write listener equals we are creating a variable called listener inside here we will write ESR dot uh, recognizer recognizer which is a function okay so after that now we're going to create a function called take command def take command and here we're going to write uh we're going to set up a try and expect block to catch any in uh catch or handle any error in error that may occur while running the Jarvis. okay so we will write try and inside the try block we will write with sr dot microphone and we will uh, it's a function so we'll write adds at source so we are uh, using the sr dot microphone it means the microphone as a source after that uh, whenever our Jarvis is listening to us then uh, we want to like it will give us a signal uh, such as like listening so now whenever our Jarvis, Jarvis is listening to us then it will print listening okay so that we can uh, understand after that we will write uh, voice equals uh, listener dot listen source okay so we will write bracket and inside here we will pass source after that we're going to create a variable called command and we will write listener dot recognize uh, google and then we will write voice don't worry i'm going to explain you each line of code later then uh, we will do like command equals command dot lower with which is a function and then we will print the command and after that we will 
written the command so that we can use it in our further function then we will uh, close expect and here we will write written written and we will return empty string okay so now what we have done it just we have used a module called speed recognition and after that we have arika we have create a variable listener with the value sr dot recognizer after that we have created a function to take all the commands from the user with the name uh, take command where we have used try expect block to handle or catch any error that may occur while running the program after that we have used the microphone as a source okay so after that we have uh, printed the listening which will show us or tell the user where to speak okay after that we have created a voice ver a voice variable where we have a listener which we have created here listener equal yes other recognizer after that we have listened to the source which is a uh, microphone okay so after that now we have declare a variable called command where we have used listener dot recognize google so let me tell you what is it recognize here we have used an api of google so you can use instead of recognize google you can use recognize amazon or a lot of things so this is basically an api of google uh, we are using okay so now we have used google api to listen for the voice and in the parameter we have passed the voice after that we have uh, we have created also another command variable like it's the same and we have uh, make the command into the lower alphabet and we have now printed the command after that we have written the command to be used in our further functions okay so after that we have set up an expect block where we will written a uh, empty string okay so now whenever i go and run this program then you can see the angel will talk only hello world hello. my name is Jarvis. my name is Jarvis. okay so now we're going to create another function uh, to make uh, this take command workable and we're going to make it response according to our code so first we'll let me create a function called run Jarvis and inside here I will define a variable uh, command equals take command which is the function we have created just above uh, this runs our this so we will write if hello hello in command okay so if the user speak hello then uh, let's talk hi boss how are you let's run and see okay so now we need to run it in a loop so we will use while loop to do that we will write while true run jarvis so now it's going to run for infinite time hello world my name is jarvis hello hi how are you okay so you can see now it's working but it's listening to us now we want to make it uh, like whenever users say quit or goodbye then it should be quit okay so quit so we will write elif goodbye goodbye wait, wait we are going to elif exit in command then we will talk goodbye with exclamation mark and then we will run a function call exit which will exit the program and then we will write else block if all the above information become false then we will uh, talk make the Jarvis to talk okay so let me pass it a string now let's delete this existing terminal and let us run hello world my name is Jarvis hello 
fine. Well, how are you? I'm fine. I don't understand. Exit. Goodbye. Yes, and now it's working. Like firstly, you can do a lots of thing, and you can uh, write something in elif command. Okay, so that much for this today's video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.